Luke was enjoying his new life on the Scarlowy Railway. Instead of being confined in the tunnels of the Blue Mountain Quarry, Luke was now free to explore every inch of the line. One day, the thin controller came to speak to him. We're beginning a project to expand the line westward. I would like you to help Reneus and Rusty with the construction. Oh yes sir, said Luke. I'd be happy to help. That's a good engine, said the thin controller. You'll begin work bright and early tomorrow morning. And so the next morning, Luke, Reneus, and Rusty headed off to the construction site. Soon they had arrived at the construction site, and everything was put in place, and work was ready to begin. All right, listen up, you lot. We got a job to do here, don't we? said Miss Jenny. Yes, ma'am, chorused the construction workers in the pack. And that job's gonna be done right, isn't it? Yes, ma'am, came the chorus again. So what are you all standing around here for? Get to work! And so the construction began. After several weeks of work, the team came to a river. It was wide, but not deep. It took some effort, but eventually the workmen, holding onto strong chains attached to the riverbank to prevent being swept away by the current, managed to erect a platform in the middle of the river. Eventually, a long metal piece was made and track was built on top of it. It was then attached by chains to Luke. Miss Jenny gave him very specific instructions. Listen to me very closely, she said. You are to slowly move forward and slowly and carefully lower the track onto the platform. Don't take all day, but move too quickly and the track may be set off balance and we'll lose it. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am, said Luke. And so, Luke slowly began to move forward. This in turn slowly let the track down towards the platform. Suddenly, Reneus was there, whistling frantically. Help! he cried. His brakes had failed. He hit one of Luke's chains, which luckily passed over him and did not break. Reneus went onto the track that Luke was lowering, and was soon precariously hanging off the edge. Help! he cried. Luke struggled to keep the track up. He knew that if he let go, Reneus would fall too quickly and he could fall into the river. Luke puffed and pulled as hard as he could. Slowly and carefully, Luke lowered Reneus down to the platform. Hooray! shouted all the workmen. Phew! said Reneus. Thank you, Luke. You saved me. Miss Jenny walked up to Luke. Not bad, Green, she said. You got some power. But next time tell your friend to watch where he's going. And she walked away. Kelly rolled quietly up. Don't worry, he said. That's high praise for Miss Jenny. Luke was too exhausted to say anything. The next day, when Luke came to the transfer yard to get some supplies, 
The other engines cheered for him. Hooray for Luke, they said. He saved Reneus. Sir Handel had even come up with a song. Luke was building a new bridge when Reneus came in and called on his friend. Luke kept Reneus from washing away. Now Luke's a hero, he saved the day. You've used that melody before, haven't you, Sir Handel? said Scarlowy. Ah, uh, maybe, said Sir Handel. Luke could only grin from buffer to buffer.